Hello and welcome. Time was when the stroke of the midnight hour evoked a memory of a different kind. In fact, it evoked a beautiful moment in the life of India as a nation. But if Jawaharlal Nehru was alive to see what happened in Parliament at this stroke of the midnight hour, perhaps he, like so many other Indians, would be depressed and angry. This was meant to be Parliament's test, in a sense. People were watching it like never before. But in the end, the government averted a vote on the issue, citing far too many amendments and saying they needed more time. Many have seen this stroke of the midnight hour as closer to the Cinderella hour as a subversion of democracy. Before we come to our panel this evening, I want to start, if I can get him up, Derek O'Brien. He's actually at the airport. But there is no doubt that Mamta Banerjee changed the rules of the game and that the Congress perhaps was yet again found wanting in political management. Derek, when we were talking right after that vote was averted, you said you were extremely sad. You're a first-time member in the Rajya Sabha representing your party because you were the one who moved those uh, two amendments. You gave notice for those two amendments. Your first thoughts on what you saw in the Rajya Sabha? Uh, sad, sad and uh, real sadness because, uh, you know, we, we were there to discuss and to deliberate a ten-letter word, which was corruption. We in the Trinamool Congress, over the last six, seven months, we have been, we have not been, we've been the only party not jumping onto stages, uh, either of the left or on the right, and all these jamborees. We've been the most consistent, so which, with another 10 letter word, which has been our conviction. But last night, what we saw through the day was another 10 letter word, and that was a caricature. We were, we were very, very clear. Please read the minutes of the standing committee. We had one member there. What he had to say, our big point was the state's autonomy. The Lokayuktas needed to be autonomous. The states needed to set up those Lokayuktas. We've been, we, we mentioned this on the standing committee, we mentioned this in the Lok Sabha, on the floor of the Lok Sabha, and we were also promised the provisio where the states would have the independence. And the reason why we could not move the amendment to the Lok Sabha, and that's why thankfully we could do it in the Rajya Sabha, because when we saw the provisio 1-4, that still wasn't clear enough Okay. that the states would have autonomy. So overall, overall, that's why we are saying sad, 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 really sad. And uh, this is not the first time it's happened, Barkha. You know, Derek, we were reporting through the evening, actually at about 7 p.m. onwards, that there was going to be a disruption in the house. That's how planned, that's how deliberate it actually all seemed. Is that what makes you especially sad that your ally, you believe, deliberately disrupted the proceedings to avert a vote? See, deliberately disrupting the proceedings is one. All this holding gun to the head is another. <laughs> Hurry, scurry, buddy, because someone is saying something on this stage in one city, then going to another stage and going something. You please show me any one clip on television or anywhere in the last six months or seven months or eight months or one year where Trinamool Congress has been the most consistent. Has been the most. In fact, now the model which we are talking about is no more the Mamta model. It's the model which has been adopted by everyone. Loka Yukta is the issue. Can I ask you though? There are those who will say, why didn't you raise this more effectively in the Lok Sabha? Why didn't you raise it at the Union Fair Cabinet? Point. You're a yes. part of this government. Why didn't you raise it at the Standing Fair Committee? Point. Why belatedly? Of course, we raised it in the Standing Committee. We had one member in the Standing Committee. I would urge any of your viewers, if they are serious, to read the, what the Srinamool Congress had to stay in the Standing Committee. Number two, listen or read the transcript of what my colleague Kalyan Banerjee said in the Lok Sabha. After he made his speech in the Lok Sabha, the certain amendment was promised. We, when we looked, the paper only came to us at about 1.30 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon, day before yesterday. When we read that provisio, it was pretty apparent that the states still did not have the autonomy we were looking for. By 2.30 in the afternoon, we were one of the first parties to move these amendments. And our amendment was very, very clear. We said drop clauses 63 to 97 pass the Lokpal bill. <laughs> okay. Uh, on the Anna Hazare campaign, now uh, Kiran Bedi is here. Team Anna had initially hoped perhaps that Mamta Banerjee would deliver an FDI and retail moment on the Lokpal as well. Your party has taken the rather individual position of taking on both the government and the Anna campaign. 
we are, I'll tell you on whose side we are. We are on the side of the people. So the two people you mentioned here, A and B, our first and foremost, we are first answerable to people. We are elected representatives with 19 members of parliament in the Lok Sabha, six in the Rajya Sabha and 200 plus in Bengal. The rest, the rest of all this teleocracy or television democracy, which some people are trying to do, we have never approved of all this. NDTV's cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free. NDTV.com/apps.